What is up, producers? Welcome to Low and Candy in one minute. And today, in just one minute, I'm going to show you a pretty dope little ducking effect you can do with auto pan, a kind of ducking effect. There's a couple different ways to do this, but this one's quick and easy. And I find myself doing it a lot, so I figured I'd just show it to you guys real quick. Over here, we have just like a starter vocal loop type deal. Now, if we want something less legato and less sustained, what we can do is we can grab an auto pan, which obviously is typically for panning. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna push the phase all the way up. And this is actually creating an LFO for us to manipulate on the track. Let me show you what I mean. Pretty cool. So there's a lot of different ways to do this. You can do this in sampler, you can do it in sampler, but this is quick and easy. Maybe you have an instrument that you don't want to toss in a sampler or a sampler, um, or for like white noise, it works really good. So what you can actually do is you can automate the rate going up. So if we have like a white noise riser here, we'll automate the rate of the LFO. And you got that cool kind of ducking riser effect. So just a quick one. Thought I'd show this to you guys. I use it a lot. So hopefully it helps some of you. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.